What we're going to talk about in this video is the idea of a fraction. And we'll see there's many ways to think about a fraction. But first we'll think about the most fundamental. So let's say that I have this square. And this is the whole, we can consider this a whole. So let me write that down. This is a whole. It is a complete square. Now what I'm going to do is divide this into four equal parts. So with one cut like that, I've divided it into two equal parts. And then with another cut like this, I could divide it into four. Four equal parts. So there are four equal parts. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of those equal parts. So let's say this part right over here. I am going to select that. So the question is, what fraction of the whole is the part that I have shaded in red? Well, it is one out of the four equal parts, right? I've shaded in one out of one, two, three, four equal parts. So we write this as this fraction. This piece represents one fourth of the whole. And there's two ways that you can think about this. You could view this as one of the four equal parts, or you could view this as a whole divided by four would get you exactly this much. Now let's do another one. And this time, let's think about how we, would, how we could represent one over eight. So one over eight. Well, we could divide this whole, in this case the whole is this rectangle looking thing. We could divide the whole into eight equal parts. So let's do that. So here I've divided into two equal parts. That looks pretty good. And now I can divide each of those into two equal parts to get me four equal parts. And then if I were to divide each of those into two equal parts, into two equal parts, I will have I will have eight equal parts. And it's not exact, obviously I've drawn it by hand, but hopefully this gets you a sense. So now I have eight equal parts, eight equal parts, and now I'm going to select exactly one of them, and that'll represent one eighth. And I could select any one of these, but I'll just do this one to show you it does not have to be necessarily the first one. So once again, this square right over here that I'm shading in red represents one eighth of the whole. Now let's look at a few more examples where I've shaded them in ahead of time. And what I want you to do right now is pause the video, and either in your head or on a piece of paper, write down, if you consider this, this purple thing the whole, what fraction does this red part represent? If you consider this blue part the whole, what fraction does this red part represent? If you view this yellow triangle as a whole, what fraction does this red part represent? And so I encourage you to pause the video now. Well, let's look at each of these. So in this case, for this rectangle, we have three equal parts, and we've shaded in one of them. So this red rectangle, this red rectangle right over here, represents one third of the whole. Now over here, in this kind of pie looking thing, this circle looking thing, we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. Five equal parts, and we have shaded in one of those five equal parts. So this little slice of the pie, this represents one-fifth. This right over here is one-fifth of the entire of the entire fraction or of the of the entire pie. Now this one's interesting. You might be tempted to say, well I've got four parts and then I've shaded in one. That must represent one fourth. But remember, it needs to be four equal parts. And it's pretty clear looking at this that this part right over here is not equal in size to this part right over here or this part right over here. These are not four equal parts. So we cannot say that this is one fourth of the triangle. So you cannot say that.